Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here. And by the end of this video, you will know how to rename, automatically rename all the folder names in your Dropbox account. This was a very good question that came out of the Integromat Facebook group. If you're not a member, you should check it out. There's a lot of good content there, but this was a very good question that came out of there that I wanted to answer with one video. Let's get right into it. So we want to rename all the folders in our Dropbox. Let's have a look in our Dropbox account. I've set up a demo folder here and what we have in here, and this was a very good question from the Integrament Facebook group, how to do this. Um, and the scenario we have is we have all these folders which are named in the same way. So you first have a date in the form year, month, day, and then you have some sort of name. I just put in um, people's names, Amy, Max, Adam, whatever. And what we want to have in the end is we actually want to change the date format. So we want to put in these bits here. So afterwards, what we want to have is we want to have each folder where the um, date is in this format, and then we still have the same name in the end. So this is the end result we want. Let's put this um, back to our test setup. And this is the setup we want. And also one little extra um, thing we have in here, we have one subfolder, or we can have multiple subfolders for that matter. And here we have the same um, scenario. We want to rename the folder. Um, so we have in our demo folder here, we have folders we want to rename, and then we also have subfolders we want to rename. So this is the what we're starting with. Going over to Integromat, there's three things we will need to do here. The first one is we have to fetch all the folders from our Dropbox. Secondly, we will have to actually change the names. And thirdly, we have to write back to drop uh, to our Dropbox and actually do the renaming. Let's start from the beginning. So firstly, we fetch all the names. For this, we use the search files slash folders um, module from Dropbox. So we want to search. First of all, you have to put in your connection to your Dropbox. Then you put in... Um, you have to search by something. So in our case, what I put in is two because all of these folders have a two in them since it's 2020 and then some date. So I just put in uh, the number two. So it finds basically all the folders I have in there. And then you put in the start search location. So if you basically don't put anything in here, so click here to choose folders. So we can say from the rename folder, and then it searches uh, below that. If you just keep the slash, then it's gonna um, start from the root. So it's gonna look at all the folders you have in your Dropbox. So we start from the rename demo folder, um, and then you have to select the file category. For the file category, in our case, we want the folder. That is the only thing we want, and that's it. You can set a limit um, depending on how many folders you wanna fetch. And that's it. So now what this does is it fetches all the folders from your Dropbox. Um, then what, what comes out is, so if we just, let's unlink this. So just for show, so we see what it fetches. So this is the result you get. So you now have multiple bundles. So each folder that we fetched is one bundle in here and you have the path um, display. So this is the way you see it in your Dropbox and then you have lower, just in lower case. And as you can see, you have the path relative to where we started. So you have the rename demo folder. That's the, the high folder. And then below that, you have the single folders. And let's go down here. Here you have a longer path. So you start at rename demo folder, then you go down to other folders, and then you have the actual folder. And what we want to do now is we want to rename these bits here in the end. So how do we do that? We use For this, we use a text parser, and we basically use regex for this. So what I can highly recommend for you people is use regex 101. It's a life saver, and we want to put together a regex for this. This one is pretty simple. Since the format is always a date, and then we have some sort of name. And in my case, I put a white space in between. There can be anything in between there. You just have to adapt the regex a bit. Is we first want to have one group and each group is in these brackets. So we first have one group which has four digits. This is what this says, then two digits, then another two digits, then a white space and then everything after that. So this is the, this is gonna be the name. And what this allows us to do is we then, we put in the regex up here, the pattern. And then what this allows us to do is we can address the groups to change the values in here. So what we do is you can see that each of these groups here on the right side in the regex 101, you can see the groups that match. So the first group is gonna be 2020, second group is gonna be 01, third group is gonna be 17, and fourth group is gonna be the white space, fifth group is gonna be Amy in this case, since this is the test data we put in here. So we can use this by then 
um, remodeling the group, remodeling the groups. So what we do here is we use dollar sign one. So this is the first group minus dollar sign two minus dollar sign three. So what this does is it gives us 2020, which is the first group minus zero one minus 17, second and third group. And then we have a white space. We could also use the fourth group, just keep the white space. And then you have dollar sign five, which is the fifth group. And that will be the name. If we go back over here, this is this is going to be the name that it just keeps as it is. And then only thing is set global match case sensitive and multi-line. And then down here, you just have to select the name of the folder that came in. And that is that. Now we have done the rename. And then the third and last bit is you just have to write back the names to your Dropbox. So for this, you just um, set up your Dropbox um, connection again. Then you want to map a file or folder path. Then for the original path, you just select the path lower. So the lowercase file path. And then for the rename, you don't have to put in the whole path again, mm -hmm. but you just put in the text um, that we passed before. So this is going to be the new folder name. And for this, as you can see here, the result of our um, regex replace is this. So you just put in the text here. As I said, I will also put the blueprint um, as a download for you guys, or just email me if you need that one. And that's it. So we fetch the folders, we rename them and we write them back. Let's run this. We run it once. So first, second, third, fourth, rename. And if we jump back over, sorry, if we jump back over to our Dropbox account, we can see it did all the renames. And yeah, here it also now refreshed the subfolder. So let's just have a look at it again. So we have all the folders, which the dates are renamed. The name back here, Amy, Max, Adam, is still the same. And if we go down to the subfolder, other folders here, then we see it also renamed this one. So that's it. This is how you rename, how you automatically rename your folders in your Dropbox account. I hope this was helpful. If you have specific questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Also, if you want to help me do these videos and staying caffeinated doing these videos, feel free to buy me a coffee. I will put the link below, as well as if you're looking to get one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting, and anything from that over to doing full um, full on projects with my team, we can provide that. If you're interested in that also, just feel free to buy me a coffee below. That allows me to put aside some time on my calendar and we can jump on a Zoom call and discuss your automation needs. My name is Dominic Lenard. Take care and goodbye.